In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to apply hatch patterns to a floor plan. So hatching is when you um, apply specific patterns. They're usually geometric and they are usually black and white. And they are to um, represent certain materials and finishes um, on a floor plan. So here is the floor plan right here. And there's obviously no furniture in here. So it's just a plain floor plan with no furniture. And what I've done is um, added lines just to uh, break the entryways so that I can add materials to only the floor spaces in between each of the areas. It's just to help identify uh, pretty clearly, pretty instantly, what the different uh, hatching patterns are, okay? And generally speaking, uh, what you can do also is add solid colors. So you could add solid colors to the walls and then have a different pattern for the internal walls. So what I'm going to do is just create lines to separate the external walls from the internal walls. And what I'm going to do is go into my materials tray and select the drop down arrow and then click on patterns. So these, this is where all of our hatch patterns are. And what I'm going to do is select a pattern for the external wall. Okay. And I'm going to select the brick common face and then I'm going to click all of the faces of the external walls with this pattern and I'm going to adjust the scale. Oh, let me just undo that. I didn't put a line here to separate that. And I'm going to adjust the scale so that there we go. Maybe that's a little bit too large. Okay, so now we have the brick common face uh, pattern on the external walls. And I think we'll just leave the internal walls white. You could select um, a different pattern or you could select a color. You know, let's select a light gray. So there is the light gray that is distinguishing the internal walls from the external walls. There's generally speaking a standardized system for hatch patterns um, that people in the industry, you know, builders, contractors, architects um, are familiar with. So it I would recommend that you do a little bit of research to establish what the standardized patterns are so that you're using the correct ones. But even if you decide to use your own patterns or to use them in a different way, as long as you explain those in your key, um, when you are presenting the floor plan, it should be fine. So what we're going to do now is go back into our patterns and we're going to select the tile uh, pattern. So where is that? Let me just see, there it is there. And this room and this room are going to have tiles. So let's just make that larger again. There's our tiles. And this area here is going to have herringbone. So let's just select that. That's great. And this area is going to have a different type of herringbone. So let's do this herringbone. Okay. And that's be oh, there's one here as well. Um, let's just use, uh, we'll use the tile again. So let's just use our sample paint tool, click there and then do that. What I'm also going to do is uh, apply the pattern to these two faces because I've left those out and this face. So let's just finish that off and that. And I also forgot to put lines here um, for those walls. Whoops. 
So let's just finish that off so that it's completed properly. And that's basically it, guys. That's how you apply hatch patterns to a SketchUp floor plan. Um, if you were going to need more detail, for example, if you needed to illustrate different finishes on the walls, you would have to draw a line to divide the wall up and then apply the um, a different hatch pattern to represent that material. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's pretend this wall, this internal wall here, is going to have a suede uh, upholstered finish. So let's just divide that. Let's type in 70. And let's just bring all bring a, this line the whole way down. I'm just going to zoom in to make sure that the line is straight. And I know that it's straight because I saw the green axis. And what I'm going to do is choose a hatch pattern that's different from the one that I, that's already there. So this is the hatch pattern here that's on this wall. So I want a different one right here because I want to distinguish those two finishes. And I'm going to choose the black dots. Okay. And what I'm going to do is increase that size. Much better. Okay. So... So you can clearly see now that there are two different hatch patterns um, on this wall here to show that the internal wall has a specific finish. So now what I'm going to do is export this to layout and I'm going to show you how you would illustrate the hatch patterns in the key um, to help explain those. So what I'm going to do is save this file and then select send to layout. I have already created templates um, previously that I use automatically as soon as I open layout so that it saves me a lot of time so I don't have to create them from scratch. And what I'm going to do is just move this over and select the scale of 150 and also select hybrid because it's better quality okay so that's great and what i'm also going to do is generally speaking i would create layers and pages so that my floor plan in layout is tidy and organized and i show you how to do that in course six i'm not going to show you how i do that now but what i'm going to do is go to pattern fill and in this area um, you will see all of the patterns that are actually in the in SketchUp so they're all repeated in layout as well so I'm going to select the drop down arrow and then select geometric tiles and then I'm going to double click on black line work and I'm going to just scroll down and here are the two herringbone patterns that I've used in this floor plan. So I'm going to click on herringbone one. I'm going to select the rectangle tool. And then I'm just going to click and drag. Actually, let's just bring that here. Yeah. And there is our first uh, hatched pattern in the key. So if I just select that and then go to scale and select 150, that uh, pattern will be increased in size. Then what I'm going to do is copy that because I want all of these shapes to be the same. Um, I want them to do. I want them all to be the same size. Let me just zoom in so that I can snap that. And then, come on, stop it. Let me just zoom in. Doesn't want to, oh, there we go. Um, This is useful if you want to keep all of these shapes the same size, and why wouldn't you? I mean, it's very important that everything is precise when you're presenting floor plans. And um, my preference would, would be to have these shapes the same size when I'm presenting these uh, hatch patterns in the key. So I have copied this, but obviously I don't want to have the same hatch pattern. I want this one to have the, the herringbone number two. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to select herringbone number two. I'm going to increase, oh, the scale is 150, so that's fine. And there it is right there. 
Um, let's do that again. So let's just zoom in. Copy, paste. Let's bring that down. And we want to, why is, we just need to zoom in uh, to make sure that we can, uh, there we go. So we need to see the green dashed line to make sure that it's all aligned. And there's a, there's a, a little bit of a bigger gap right here. So let me just fix that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is uh, find the dots, black dot two is selected and there we go. And that's also at a scale of 150. And let's just go to view, zoom to page, and you can see now that we have listed those hatch patterns. We could also list the brick pattern there as well and the ceramic tile pattern and then we would write beside those what um, those patterns are and that's it guys that's how you apply hatch patterns to a floor plan and explain them in a key.